this is an important video because we've got some rich guys that are dumping their stocks rich criminals and oh there's the picture of the king King Obama and if you think he didn't know what was going on with the IRS scandal well don't know what to tell you he's dirty this whole administration is dirty everybody he's appointed is dirty Eric Holder's a criminal they all are did you think that he would change anything from his cousin Bush no he was so against it when he campaigned all the all the eavesdropping type stuff and the privacy invasions he claimed he was going to do away with them he hadn't done away with nothing he's kept the policy wake up America for God's sakes and realize what's happening to you but this interesting article here is something that all of us need to pay attention to he said Obama did if you want to know what I'm about look at the people I surround myself with well we have and they're all scum criminals liars users they should be in jail all of them including the president but this article says they're you know talking about a six and a half percent stock market rally <clears throat> in the last three months but there's some billionaires that's dumped their American stocks real quick here lately Warren Buffett who he said is his financial guru well Buffett has made a lot of money doing trades and whatnot and now I guess he's the catch-up king of Heinz and John Kerry and his family I guess uh, well they were already loaded well I guess they're a little more loaded for selling that company huh but he was uh, Buffett complaining of disappointing performance with Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, and Kraft and Berkshire Hathaway which is his holding company they've re reduced his exposure to the stocks those things that depend on us consumer purchasing habits he sold about 19 million shares of Johnson & Johnson reduced his overall stake in what he depends on consumer product stocks by 21 percent and it also sold its entire stake in Intel and 70 percent of the economy is dependent upon us and our spending so Buffett has lost a little faith in us and our spending for some reason and these guys they know what the plan is and they're reading us and they're planning on bringing the economy down they're planning on destroying the dollar they're planning on forcing all the debt they can upon us it's a system of control as we've said before they're going to tighten the control and if you thought we were really in a recession the only reason you don't have long lines for people getting a tiny bowl of soup and a piece of bread like in the Great Depression is because they got a food stamp card now they didn't have that back then so you don't have lines for people with no food they give them the card the people go get the food if there was no card you'd have the lines you see the lines you'd realize how serious things are so wake up the sleepers must awaken John Paulson is another fellow billionaire in the billionaire boys club made a fortune betting on the subprime mortgage meltdown did you get that made a fortune betting on the subprime mortgage meltdown and he's getting out of the stocks too his hedge fund dumped 14 million shares of JP Morgan Chase it also dumped its entire position in Family Dollar and Sara Lee and you got the big scum George Soros he sold nearly all of his bank stocks including JP Morgan Chase which this guy did too up here Paulson 
Citigroup and the Goldman Sachs people. And between these three sold more than a million shares, so what are they dumping them for? Well, they're either trying to confuse us or they're getting ready for something to happen that they know they're going to make happen. You can say it's got a rally here, but you got to understand it's just a bunch of big guys like them with tons of money and big companies and the Fed and the Treasury and all this stuff working together to prop this market up. The unemployment rate never did come down like King Obama said. The stimulus was just a rape. They raped us. You know? Look at Cyprus. They just got raped. Started off at, what, 10, 20 percent we're going to take to finance our bailout, and then it went to 40. Then you had reports of up to 60. And then you've even heard reports of it could possibly be 80 on some accounts, which would be over the minimum level, they said, of anything over that, of the desired amount of money held in the bank. If you had over that, you got raped austerity. Look at all the European countries that did austerity. Austerity is just another form of rape. To steal what you have and keep it for themselves and then say we had to. Robert Wiedemeyer, Wiedemeyer is an esteemed e economist, economist, excuse me, and he's wrote Aftershock, a best-selling book, and in Aftershock he predicted many of the things that were going to happen in 2006. And we saw what happened in 2007, the latter part of it, and worked its way to now. He is talking about the possibility of a 90% drop in the stock market. Yes, it is 90. The chief investment strategist at Standard & Poor's said that Wiedemeyer's track record demands attention because he was so on, on the spot and basically predicted what would happen and it did. And now, former CFO of Goldman Sachs said his Wiedemeyer's prescience in his first book lends credence to the new warnings. Well, I don't... Goldman Sachs is crooked and criminal, so I don't know about that guy there. The 90% drop in the market is a worst-case scenario, and this, the host he's given this interview to challenged his claim. And he laid out a big, clear explanation of why a large drop is a virtual certainty. It starts with the Federal Reserve printing all that money every month, 85 billion for stimulus and to prop up the housing market. So they basically own the mortgage market. You know, you hear about houses prices are are leveling off, leveling off, you know, buildings up, this, that, and the other. It's all bubbles, people. You gotta realize it. You have to see it. They want you to go back to sleep so they can do the same thing over again, except it's going to be way worse the next go-round. Now, these funds haven't made it into the economy yet, but it's a mathematical certainty that once the dam breaks, the money passes through the reserves, hits the markets, and inflation's going to surge. And once you hit 10% inflation, 10-year bonds lose half their value. And 20%, all the value is gone. And then your interest rates go up way up dramatically and that causes your real estate to collapse and the stock market follows that and there goes bye bye 401ks and everything again that's why he explained why Buffett, Pulse, and Soros those the ones mentioned could be dumping their their stocks because they're gonna they're gonna draw back and hold all their wealth while we all get raped and stolen from again 
there's a video that this man has made within this article right down here and I'm gonna put this link up and it's a good video I've watched it <clears throat> and you need to watch it too because it'll give you some things to think about to protect yourself this is also another article related to the same one it says after putting eight hundred and three thousand four hundred thirty six dollars in Obama's re-election campaign a media giant attempted to keep Americans from seeing this video and that's the video it's also over here too that I just showed you and this is a different little article here it puts it in little different ways than the one we just looked at you can read it let it sink in and try to think and protect yourself it's a wake-up call it says the financial rescue has failed miserably it was designed to fail folks it was never designed to win So there's the same little video there in this the same article. So no matter which which one you're gonna read and look at or both, you'll get to watch this video. There's also another one I'm gonna put in there, um, which I'm not gonna show that here in this video, but I'm gonna put a link on to Gerald Salente's video. And he also has his own personal touch if you've ever watched him I think he's a comical guy that puts it in a way that, that most people can understand and he hits home and he is makes a lot a lot of sense so I'm gonna link that in also and I want you to watch that one too I definitely want you to watch the video which I showed in these two articles and I want you to read these articles and I want you to listen to the Gerald Salente video and I want you to think about things because uh, you know we, I made foods about GM or a video about foods and GMO and now we got more food stuff we got the Chinese which he'll tell you about who just bought Smith Field and they make they're like the world's biggest uh, pork producer exporter excuse me and you want your pork to be in the hands of the Chinese you know shipping it over here the US DA doesn't exactly check percentage wise a lot of the incoming stuff they don't check it a hundred percent they just check it a tiny fraction so that is also something to think about you know your bacon your sausage your pork chops your you know your your ham, all this kind of stuff. Now the Chinese are going to get control of of the pork market here. And those are things we need to think about and understand the truth behind each and every one. So God bless us all. There's been no more tornadoes for the moment here in Oklahoma. Trying to clean up get their lives back together some will be able to rebuild others will not be able to rebuild pray for the world and all the peoples in it because we're going to need as much help as we can get we're halfway through this year it's starting to get hot solar maximum is going to really start kicking in here in, in the next month or two I got a feeling so y'all do some thinking about your finances and stuff and read this stuff and listen to these videos and do what you can to protect your assets God bless you